Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another plan with me. In this video, I'm going to be planning in my mini happy planner for the week of May 11th through the 17th. And I plan on using the stickers from the newbie happy box, which are these beautiful stickers right here. I already used them in my classic spread. And I really love how this one turned out because of the pastel colors. It's like a really cute combo. And I really love how this one turned out. So for this mini spread, I'm not going to use any of the pastel colors like I used in my classic. I'm going to try to keep it more neutral in my mini and use like these tan colors and um, black. There's a bunch of good black boxes I can pull. I probably will pull this washi only because it's, it's really cute. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go with more with the black and tans for this spread. And I think I should be able to have enough to do that. All right, so I'm going to just pull these out. And I think I'm also going to use um, the same washi I used in my classic, which was this stripe. It really paired well with those stickers. So I'm going to probably do the same in this spread. All right, so I think the first thing I'm gonna do is put down washi. So I'm gonna pull the washi I have in here, which I have that one. I have these little tiny pieces. Okay, so I only have two long ones and then little tiny ones that I'll probably have to piece together um, if, it's, if these two are not enough. Because I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna put some on this line. And I'll just cut that off in a bit. And then I wonder if this one, no, it's not going to fit, but I'm going to use this and just piece together another small bit of washi right next to it. Okay, so I'm just going to take my um, X-Acto knife and cut this off right there. Probably save this piece just for later, in case I need to add more onto another one. And I'm not sure yet where I'm gonna put the washi over here, but I think I'm gonna add this striped washi on this side first. Maybe in the middle. really crooked. And I think I'm going to put some on the very bottom. It's a lot of washi, but I think it's, I mean, the, this washi is really, really thin. So I feel like it'll be okay. All right, I got some wax paper because I do want to add maybe some quotes on the corner. I don't have a long sticker to put over here, which I normally like to use to cover up that. Only because these boxes don't match the colors on the page. So that's normally why I like to cover it up. But I don't have a box to do that. And I'm trying to stick to just this sticker book for this spread. So I'm going to, I mean, I do like this one. Let's see how this will look over here. So I put this right there. And they have these really cute leopard hearts. So maybe I can add one there. And let's see what else. Ooh, maybe some of these. So these are cute. I feel like I could layer this somehow. Like maybe put this down here. This. Okay. 
Okay, I want to add the heart in, but I don't think it's going to work right there. So maybe I can add in some more of this. leopard over here okay when I layer it down I'm gonna make sure that I make I, I raise it up a little bit more so that way it's the H isn't being blocked by the print but I do kind of want it layered like this I don't know maybe I can add the heart over here I'm not sure yet um, okay, I'm gonna just start putting these down and hopefully I'll be able to get it layered so that way I can read like the black lettering. Okay, I ended up adding some washi down here and I was able to layer it so that way it is, like I can read um, at least the laugh because this, the foil, you're able to read it over that little leopard, I feel. Yeah, I think that should be fine. So I'm just going to cut off these extra pieces right here. I'm actually going to save this one because I might use that later. Or actually, maybe I can put it over here. Like that. Just to fill, in it a, uh, fill it in a little bit more. I think I'm going to take this washi off because I have it on that side and I... I'm just going to take it off. So now I do want to put some boxes down over here. Let's see. I have this. That'll be. That might be something I could use. Since it does go with this theme and it has the stripes and everything. So I'm just going to put that down right there. And then I have all of these boxes that I can pull. So I definitely want to add. definitely want to use that one and I don't know if I should layer this over here since that way I can have at least the black stripes I'm gonna put this right here I'm gonna put this one right here. I just have to figure out something to do in that section because I'm not sure yet, but at least I feel like that side is, I think that side looks really good. All right, so I still have all these little boxes that I can add. I do have a few bills that are due this week. So I'm gonna use these little ones to mark those. So I think I have one here. here okay so just realized my camera wasn't recording but I just put down these um, a couple more of these boxes around the page um, just because they do fit nicely in here and that way I have more of that leopard print around the page and I really like how that looks and then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these checklists because I do like to have bullet points on my spread but there are there aren't any bullet points in this sticker book, but they do have these checklists and they do have a little line um, sectioning off each one. So I'm thinking I'm going to cut these um, and just use one. Just use them like a bullet, but like a bullet point, like I would use a bullet point. So um, now I have a tan little, it's kind of like a rectangle size uh, and I'm just going to use this like I would a bullet point. So I'm gonna add a couple of these. I have some black ones that I already cut down because I wanted to make sure it worked. But um, I have these ready to go. And I can add that one there. And another one. 
that I can add under this tan one right here. Like that. Um, I'm thinking, I don't know yet if I'm going to add them onto these other days. I'm not sure yet. I might though. Um, I just haven't decided yet if that's what I'm going to do. So I do want to find something for here. I feel like I should add in more of this, that print over here. I mean, I could do another quote because I have that U rock, which is really cute. I don't know if it's going to fit in that section because I have this. I'm going to use my wax paper. So I think all the other quotes I have are kind of big. I mean, I could do that or I could just add in the leopard. Okay, so I for sure want to have this on there. I'm going to put this here. Because I do like how that looks. Just to have some up there. Since I have a bunch down here. And I'm not sure yet if I'm going to add this in, but... I could still decide if I'm going to or not. Um, in a bit. Because I do like how that looks. And there is a lot going on already. Um, but I think it looks good. Okay. So I do want to figure out something for over here because I don't like that it has like that color right there. So I need to find something to put over there that could possibly work. So I have these. And this is a cute quote. I could use this. Or actually, I mean, this is the best day, but... Could do that or I could do just do black because I do have black on the page and I do like this one I think I might just do black I'm gonna um, white out this little checklist because I don't think I'm gonna cover that one and I don't want it to be I just don't want it to be there so I'm gonna put that there and I'm going to find something to hopefully cover up that little notch, which I could add one of these. Or, you know, I really don't like that. <laughs> I'm going to take that off. Um, there's this other one that says you rock, babe. Maybe this will look a little better over here. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that. I'm not 100% sure yet if I like that there the way it is. But for now, it's going to stay like that. All right. I feel like this is really, really crooked. I just realized that. So I'm going to remove it and put it back on. Okay, so for these two days that I don't have anything yet, um, I, don't, I don't have a sticker yet for them, I think I'm going to use these little header, yeah, these little headers, um, just to label these sections. They just say today, so I'm just going to put this today sticker here. And then I'll put this one right here, like that. I think that side is done. Um, over here, I mean, I'm trying to decide if I want to put something here. Oh, I did have these. I forgot about these. Maybe one of these will work over here because I feel like it's kind of empty right here and I just want to fill it in with something. And I 
Mm, I just don't know which one I want to put. If I want to do the tan one or just like the white one with the tan lettering. I'm going to use this one. All right. I think it looks really, really cute. It's jam packed with stickers, but I like that. I like it when it's completely full of stickers, but still very functional to use. you get even though this is only 10 pages of stickers you get a lot of stickers which is awesome um, because I've already decorated a whole classic spread and I use a lot of stickers decorated a whole classic spread and I've decorated now and then I'll have this um, mini that I've decorated just with the these stickers so yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, I don't think that one's gonna work. I'm gonna just take it off because I don't think it works on this spread. And actually I don't really, I think I'm gonna take this one off too. Okay. I think I'm gonna leave it like that. I think it looks cute like that. I have a lot of stickers on the page. I love the neutral theme. It's really pretty. Um, I'm gonna put this back in my planner. So that is my spread and my mini for the week. I hope you guys all enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you guys all in the next one.